Hello friends, welcome to Parthems. I am going to show you today how to calculate or count sales between the dates. So here ha we have some sample data. One is a student name and their birthday along with it. So we have a date range uh, that is going to be calculated over here till C5 to C16 and the formula over here if you can see that we are going to use. So I have already put some formula over here I'll just clear it off and in this formula if you can see the count if is the main function that we are going to use so the count if is nothing but we are going to use this formula with specified condition or the criteria so in this case we'll just use one more formula that is a date so date we return you the exact value what you are expecting over here so if I say the 12 as a my month that is a December and a first day that will return me a first December 1985 so if you can see that is the date it is returning so this formula we are going to use in this form main formula so I have to calculate the occurrences or the count within this range I'm going to use and it should return the correct number of counts occurring in that particular range so let's use this formula let's say count F with my conditions and the criteria so it will ask the first criteria range so I'll choose this range directly or I have created some list already for this range so if you can see the dates it is already I have created a list comma the criteria so greater than or equal to I'm going to use over here greater than the date so I'm first I'm using to pick up that date and put for the greater than value so here I have to use a formula date 1985 1st January like this so if you can see the date I have provided E8 as a 1985 as a year first month and first day so that is my start day the second range I have to provide or the criteria I have to provide that is a uh, dates the range comma the criteria that I'm going to use is less than or equal to the value less than or equal to the value is date as a formula here the sale I'm going to use so I'm going to find out whatever the birthdays are occurring within the year 1985 and here I'll specify the 31st December as a date and to close this formula I'll use one more parenthesis over here now if you can see in 1985 one two three four four birthdays are there similar way if I drag this cell it will return me in 1986 how many occurrences are there so it returning me five occurrences so how to verify that I'll just put the filter on the header over here and in this if you can drop down as a filter there you can see how many number of days it is occurring in a May there is one occurrence in January there are one occurrence and in March there are two occurrence similar way other counts are also visible so to avoid this manual work you can use this formula in your day to day life so this is basically you know it may very useful for quarter results or monthly results so you can specify the specific date of range over here it also helpful for the service tax industry how many number of tickets they have solved within a month or how much revenue or the you know problems they have resolved so it it, it can be uh, you know helpful in any industry or any work that you are going to use in excel and get the output of it and this can be you know converted into pie chart letter to represent it as a you know on display so i hope this will help you and 
uh, do subscribe and like my channel thank you